Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Hello Children. In this video, we will study the poem Photograph, poetess Shirley Tolson. A photograph, the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling. Each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the girl some twelve years or so. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera, a sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born. And the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Some twenty, thirty years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. See Betty and Dolly, she would say. And look how they dressed us for the beach. The sea holiday was her past. Mine is a laughter. Both wry with the labored ease of loss. Now, she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. Its silence silences. The poetess is the speaker here. The poetess looks at an old photograph of her mother when she was 12 years old. Here, the cardboard is a part of the frame that keeps the photograph intact. Its use in the poem is ironical. It keeps the photograph of that 12 years girl safe, who herself was terribly transient. She had died years ago. One could see in the photo the speaker's mother holding her two cousins on either hand and smiling at the camera. The photo was taken by her uncle at the seaside. The sea breeze had ruffled their hair and it had fallen on their face and one could see them smiling through the hair. The speaker's mother had very sweet face when she was young. The waves beating against their feet made them look unstable. The poetess notices the change in her mother's face after she was born. This could have been the outcome of sorrowful incidents or hardships in life. The sea was washing their feet has changed only a little, but the change has come about the ones whose feet it was washing. Only nature remains as a permanent feature. Thus, the poetess presents a contrast between human life and the sea. However, poetess cannot remember witnessing the same cheerfulness on her mother's face in her recollections of her mother when she was born. Twenty, thirty years later, when the speaker's mother saw the photograph, she laughed, pointed at her cousins, Betty and Dolly, and recollected that they were all dressed for the beach. And sea holiday was her past experience, just as the sound of the laughter is a past experience to the poetess. The mother remembers her old days, the poetess can remember her mother. The poem also shows that in due course of time, the two of them learned to live with their losses, though the loss had made a permanent impression on their wry or disappointed faces. In the last lines, poetess says that her mother had been dead and now she finds herself in a situation in which there is nothing to be said but only emptiness. The silence of this situation silences her. In other words, she is left speechless. Fate has killed all the feelings in her. Do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.